Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I have the wildest story for you today. <laughs> By all means take it with a grain of salt. It's just a story. It's a myth. There's a story that there were great ones who oversaw the earth. All these ages when we humankind have been on it in various forms. And uh, 150,000 years ago, there was an accident, as some have, some have described, in which the great um, Earth, the great planet Earth, fell to a lower dimension, to the third dimension. And at that time of the fall, the overseers, the great, the wonderful beings that, that oversee the development of souls into God consciousness, they came to us beings, as human beings here on earth, and they already knew what would be happening in the next 150,000 years. They knew that we would descend to such a state of consciousness that, that the demon world would be able to, um, to take advantage of our, of our soul fields and, and use them as, as, as energy and food for themselves. Not in the sense of destroying our soul fields, because souls are eternal and indestructible, but in terms of suffering, in terms of agony, in terms of separation from source, they would be able to do that. So, in their kindness and in their foresight, in their great wisdom, these great beings race of, of beings, an astral race of beings, very tiny compared to us, to stand by us in human form and to care for and to care for our astral bodies and to to act as like the the collectors of the of the agony that we have been feeling as a as a, as a race, as a species in these latter years and to collect the, that agony on the astral plane and take it up to areas under our under our throat right here in the astral form where the demons could come and use that energy and take that energy away every day. Imagine that these these tiny beings might also once a month say during the full moon have the um, the soul mission to transmit information about our personal well-being to the, to the great ones, to the caretakers of Earth. And that once a month in their joy and in their happy service, selfless service, they do do that for us. So if you should run into beings like this in your imagination, don't be concerned and don't be frightened. They are happy to be of service to us in the state into which we have fallen and to allow us to survive in this, this world that is plagued by, by hostile life forms on the astral plane. And they it is whom we will greet in friendship as we rise up again to the fifth dimension as our dearest friends and families. As a matter of fact, my feeling is we would not have survived here had not these tiny little beings been harvesting the negative uh, energies from our astral bodies and tr um, accumulating it in these two places on either side of the neck in the astral form so that the demon world could, could which, which, which delights in that type of energy could take it away from us in other words, our astral bodies would have perished had they not had this disposal unit for this units for this toxic uh, emotional content that manifests in the fourth dimension and uh, in trans and 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 uh, appears differently aspected in the third dimension, manifesting as bodily pain, bodily aches. And in in a, a very stressful scenario, as as diseases of the physical body, and ultimately as death. So, 
these little beings, these little beings, no wonder they're so joyous and happy. They're, um, they're doing us a great service. And um, is, is it possible that the beings to whom they've been transmitting information all this time are the Elohim or their representatives? These, these keepers of the sacred trust of, of humankind, these great beings, the Elohim or their representatives for us? These are just thoughts. As our astral bodies clear, as the, actually the incoming light alters the resonance, uh, the res many resonances of th third dimension and the fourth dimension, so that it becomes rarer, more, more brilliant, more crystalline, more pure, so that it becomes more joyful, so that it sings a song of, of, of resonance with, with, with the divine, with the supreme, and with source. And as all of these lower and, and more dissonant en energies leave Earth, then what will we find? We will find less of the energies in our astral form that cause the diseases in the physical form. We will find less work for these little beings to do, less food for the demon world. And what will, what will happen then? All of that suffering, all of that pain, all of that, all of that discord, all of that dissonance will soon be a thing of the past. And our bodies will be disease-free, pain-free. We will live a long time then. And what will be lost when this occurs? In those days beyond the days, we will have lost the freedom to experience such diverse songs as are heard on the earth today. Songs of the greatest suffering, songs of the greatest pain. So listen well today and record what you hear in your heart, from us to the universe, these great memories will be transmitted. And in that way, all beings of light everywhere will come to know.